No, we are not. But I am on the other ones. All right, we'll just get on. All right. <laughs> hey, everybody. I'm Rob the Builder. Can we build it? Yes, we can. Now, today we're getting further into the detailing on the um, Italeri C47. Where we've got a goodly amount done. Um, and indeed, a lot of the more fiddly bits done, which is kind of cool. Um, now, once these are done, it's just pretty much the engines and the wheels. There's not much to them. And the reason I'm keen on getting all this done um, in pretty short order is basically because if I do that and make sure I've got my, C, uh, my um, B17 detailing done as well, which I pretty much have, there's a couple of little bits, they share two colours. Idea being, and I'm about to put, I'm going to put the Boeing grey on them today. Boom, Boeing grey. Yeah, yeah. I'm sure you get the idea. Thus, I save myself a lot of. I'm now I'm going to assemble them pretty much at the same time, and yeah, that's the plan. In the meantime, back to the task at hand. Then we've also got pilots. We've got a few things to look at. Um, I'll get you a better angle on that. After my traditional, how are you doing? Caffeine. Oh, yeah. Wow. wow. Chica -chica. <laughs> All righty. Now. Now, 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 now. Now, 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 now. Bow, bow. Oh, dear. Oh dear, oh dear, Robster. Now, these are bulkheads, I believe is the term. If I move that, let's see how not well. Oh, I must that rather nicely. That's a door. Thus, it doesn't isn't it showing on this side, but it does at a certain angle. So as you can gather, what we're going to be doing here is painting that door. Um, now, uh, might just yoink that out of the blue tech for the time being. Deedly, deedly. Now, I'll be on for about uh, an hour and a half, I reckon. See how we go, depending on factors X, Y, or Z. Yeah, that's, that's a pretty, uh, yeah. I must the in inside of that because that's going to be wood. I need to do a little tidy up of interior green there. I need to zoom in to show you that that's how tiny it is, which is good. So you want to. Now this is down the back of the. And how do we go here? Not as nice, but not bad. Um. Next thing I have to zoom. I can tell I'm going to have to zoom in to. Okay, what we have. Oh, hey, Scott, how are you doing? Um, let me know if you want to come on screen. I'll uh, flick the link up. Now, on this one, you can see I've gotten most of it fairly clear, but there's a little strip there that needs to be tidied up. Here. I'm actually really pleased with how that one's come up. Um, if I'll zoom out just a little. StreamYard seems to do this slight magnification thing, which is fine. No, I'm not grumpy why it made grumpy by it, but yeah. Now in this one, as you can see, there's just a little touch there, maybe there. that will need to tidy up. But on the inside, it's going to be Wood, as is that, and indeed that. Now, um, we're going to be putting, this is the bench. That's come up really well. That is a piece of masking. I'm very happy with the outcomes there. So we'll just do our letters on the bench. 
Now, cheers. Oop, zoom out. You wouldn't even see what I was talking about on the bench. Bench. So, yeah, we'll just do them leather. Uh, we have two of these chappies to work with. Um, I've got a few of the colours ready to rock and or roll. So we'll get onto that directly. Um, yeah, yes. Now these, I'm going to get these separated to a, in a certain way, just for ease of access. Ah, uh, ah. Uh, okay. Anyway, so. With these, I've actually got a, uh, I might have a uh, slight interruption to my streaming set, uh, uh, some stage in the next few weeks, maybe. Um, see how we go, I might not, um, because I'm moving house, um, which is rather inconvenient. My... Landlord wants to move his daughter in, I believe, to the drill. Um, yeah. But, uh, yeah. Okay, now these are the... Uh, um, I always wonder if it's steering wheel or joystick in, a, in an aircraft, you know. These are the questions I have, and, of course, the seats. And the reason I want to... Uh, now, these are curious, I must say. Um, hmm. I'm wondering what colour to do this side. You'd think probably interior green. But, eh, I don't know. Um... That's generally how it rolls. Uh, generally, all that mm, Trixie. Ah, here's a bit of an answer. There's a lot defined line there, so I reckon the lower part, interior green, the top would be something else that will work for us. Um, you can't see what I'm talking about because so I was too busy. Now, okay, as you can see, this is the these are the this is one of the chairs. The other one's actually quite the reverse, the reverse side. Doesn't matter. If you look closely, in fact, you can see it there. And right now, I can tell. You'll see there's a line that sort of corresponds to there. I'm going to go interior green down there and around the base. Not quite sure what colour I'll do there, but that's going to be leather. Um, I'll do the back, that leather. Maybe do I want to go? I'll probably all the way around. In fact, that I might do something else. But yeah, that would need to be probably wood. No, mm, I'll work it out. Cause it looks more like an armchair than a normal uh, pilot's thing. Then we're zooming out. Uh, what else do I need to work on? Ah, yeah. <clears throat> now, what I want to do here, this is the dash. It's almost done. Uh, there's a couple of touch-ups, but that's okay. And uh, what I'll do is... These are the exhaust manifolds. I wouldn't mind getting them done as well while we're at things today. So, just for ease of... Because these are just very rough job sort of things. Now. Okay, so that's all the different bits we're going to work on today. Ah. Now. Now, 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 now. I would say... Good point to start. Maybe grab a other uh, whether it's the pilot or co-pilot. I don't know. It doesn't really matter. 
Um, but grab these little chappies, and what we're going to do is go down here at the base of the... I need to zoom in. You can't see that. There we go. We're going to come in here and do the top of his boots um, with that. And that's going to be the uh, wool on his boots. While we're at it, um, there's probably... Yeah, there we can do it. Let's have a look if we've got a an option on... Now, that's the... It'd probably be just a bit down the front, wouldn't it, really? Do you think their jackets would be um, fleece-lined? Um, so we'll do... Uh, or am I just being overly sorry? Excuse, sorry, while I'm uh, making these evaluations. Uh, no, I'm getting carried away with that. So we'll just do those two bits. <coughs> um, excuse me. And actually, give me a moment. Why not last look? We're going to zoom right in here. Let's have. So if that's the. That's coming off of there. That's, yeah, okay. Yeah, okay. Decisions made. Zoom out for a moment. And in fact, our next color after this, the, uh, this, I reckon, we're going to do their faces. Now, because once that's dry, you can sort of start building from the base up, if you know what I'm saying, colour-wise. That's my theory. That's my theory. And, uh, yeah, from there it's all very cruisy. Now... Dealy. Excuse me. Now, a few of these bits need interior green on them. Um, whoops, that's a bit of a chunky. Uh, I reckon I should shake that a bit more. It's a bit runny. Yeah, that's better. <laughs> Just being lazy, that's all that was. Now, goggles. I'm thinking of investing in one of those. Uh, I've got some, the goggles I've got are good. But I'm, they don't have a light on them. And I'm thinking of investing in a pair that do, because they look like they'd be kick-ass. Unless I say there's a reason why... Uh, Doctors and the like. Now, we'll move you across to there. There we go. Nice. Oh, yeah, there's a reason why uh, doctors and dentists and people like that have lights on their... Uh, and it's not so problematic... If I go too high, but I prefer not to go too low with these because, of course, that's where the leather is. Uh, I've gone too, I went too high with some. Uh, like there, and that's a bit inconvenient, but never mind. Yeah. 
make because of the problem with going too high. What with the black that is, is that it makes it harder to identify. Where exactly your line is. Ah. <laughs> Just realized I'm talking so slowly, and it's only I talked. Um, yeah. We can a little bit more into there. There we go. Up here. As I said, the, the, the uh, existence of the black paint there is going to be a little inconvenient, but never mind. Gently. from this angle, dearie, dearie me, fiddly stuff, uh, violets, but a good one will really add to your kit, you know, now what angle you got there, there we go, Now, you know, I reckon, I reckon, there we go, boom. Right, almost got this, now, this guy's legs, what other leg? Here we go. Bit more there. So that's the wall on top of this guy's boots. Now you'll notice there's a line at the front of them, and I'm assuming, and that was actually printed on there, and I'm assuming that that was uh, just a point where the boots could come apart so the foot could slip on in. There's slip-ons, they're not tie-ups. That is the assumption. Now for this chappy's boots. Now... Yeah. Oh, 
Pac's enjoying this. <laughs> no, never mind. Oh, hang on. Oh, oh no, of course he's. Sorry, we have read that one. <laughs> We're going to come into here. Oops, got a little clumsy there. But we can. Oh, it is not that bad. We're going to print him upside this way. Isn't that good? Uh, and there's the tricksy part, kids. Getting right the way around. Come on. And we're good. It's okay, sir. We're a solid. All right, there's one lot. Next one. Daily. Next. Now, once we've got the boots done, we're going to do the faces, and then where? What's the next one I want to work on? Probably the dash. Doesn't really matter. A lot of that dash has been done. Excuse me a moment whilst I concentrate. There we go. All right. Now. Now, if you're... new to modeling and you're finding this helpful to watch one thing i'd advise advise you to utilize extensively and you'll notice i'm doing it is changing the angle on where you're coming in from because doing that will enable better access to where you a bit zealous there with the white excuse me moments again I should come across like that where you need to get, there we go, it'll enable you to get better access to where you need to get your brush. Just the drill. And there we go, so that's that dude's uh, the wool on his boots. Dear, oh dear. Fiddly as kids, but worth it. Take the goggles off for a moment. Deary me. Deary me. I use deary me. A lot because I actually got it from a uh, comedy sketch. I'll zoom you out for a moment, excuse me. And uh, it was by the, this goes back to the 80s, um, a British comedy pairing named uh, Smith and Jones, Smell Smith and Griffey Jones, who first appeared in Not the Nine O'Clock News. Um, where Rowan Atkinson first started off. And uh, anyway, the uh, Deary Deary Me is from a, is actually from a song that they did called Would You Let Your Daughter Sleep With The Sun Reporter? And uh, when he gets back to the um, bar to brag to his mates, Deary me, she loved it. Um, 
become a bit of a running joke with my mates, or well, one of my mates at least, and a uh, bit of a habit now. The deary, deary me. Um, did you love it? I don't know. I do. Now, <laughs> what can I tell you, kids? All right, we're going to go with a bit of light flash here. Um, it's a bit of a, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Um, what is the word I'm looking for? It's a pretty solid option, I guess, in this circumstance. Most of the air crews would have been whiteies, um, notwithstanding. I mean, yeah, the Tuskegee Airmen were the only African-American airmen I know of. Um there would have been, of course, Italian Americans and Polish Americans and stuff like that. But ultimately, whiteies. So we'll roll with this. Now I'll give it a good solid shake. Once I've got the faces done, we might as well as uh, take care of this little bit of business. Oh, for God's sake, stop knocking things over. Um, now. Delay. And we might do some doors. There we go. Now, get my gogs back on. Get my gogs on. Woo! Oh dear. That's awful. Um,. Deary, deary, deary me is all I am saying to that one. Cool. Now, bing. Let us. Yep. Yep. There's our face. Now, on this, at this scale, you got pretty sound. You can cover the whole deal. Is what we're going to do. We'll start off. That's our first port of call with that, with this sort of with caper. We go just to find the face because he has a um, flying helmet on. He. Let me just get into there. Um, won't have any hair to paint, so we don't worry about that. And to create the actually might. And to bring out the definition on the face, we can use a bit of uh, null oil, which will fall into all the nooks and crevices. Now, you don't want to go too heavy with this, for very obvious reasons. You want to be able to still see the guy's face. At the moment, he looks a bit like skeletal. Now, see if you want, I've got an itch underneath my... Ah, oh, there we go. Underneath my goggles. You don't be needing that behaviour. Um, a little more here. There we go. Right, so now 
that's where we're at with at the moment with this. Now that will of course dry, and yeah, we'll do a bit more on that in, on the face in due course. But that's a whole other story. The other guy. Alrighty. Almost there with this. Oh dear. Let's get this guy's face in order. Now we'll come around this way. And into. All right. So, yeah, there's a... Oop, missed a bit. Just here. Let's have a closer look. Yeah, I do want to put a bit more on. Just a little bit. For a moment there he is looking a bit like he might uh, be suffering a bit of anemia. We'll brush the excess off. Mm. Yeah, there's a bit of a lump on there. Give me a moment. is let's start that again
Hmm. For some reason, the panic seems to be being the one being, being the thing creating the issues. I'll let that dry. Yeah, as it sinks in, it'll be okay. That's looking better. He looks very grumpy, but that's okay. Maybe he is. There we go. Ah, finally. Zoom out. All right. Now. So, what we do now is we're going to let, well, the boots probably already are, but actually I forgot to clean this one. Now, we'll do a bit of leather. Actually, no, we're going to do wood first. The reason for that is because if I'm going to do the leather, once I've done the bench, I may as well as do the jackets. It's only going to be the arms, I think, for the most part. And at that stage, well, you know, you know. Let me just have a look at something on these. Um, no, we'll just go there. Um, what's the word I'm looking for? No, I'm not I'll approach now. Wood. Wood, 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 wood. Here we go. No, is this leather or mahogany? That's the brown I'm looking for. Actually... Now, do I want to go solid, or do I want to go for a bit of grainy look? Mm -hmm. Here we go. Give me a moment. Uh, I think it's in here. With the uh, wood... We can do a bit of an effect here. Yes, we can. That I like to do with the things that are wood, to be honest. Give me a moment while I find. This. That's going to be our base coat. And we're going to then do a dry wash with that to create the grain. This time I'm going to shake it thoroughly. That first shake, you can, I can actually see that first shake of white was crap. Crap, I tells you. Now, here we go. 
Mahogany brown. Now, something I might want to consider. Oops, the days. Is. Um, do I wooden back and you know that would work for me? All right, here we go. Now, in that case, what I'm going to put some of the mahogany on the back of the chairs and part of the side. Um, it'll all make sense once it's done. So with that in mind, if you will, one, two, I'll give it a quick five. Get this out of the way. Um, now, next, give this a quick file. Unus. Duo. There we go. Now, next, now, the very base of this, I actually know that will be visible there, so how do I want to do this? There's no real way of avoiding having part of it covered. Just have to worry about the rest of it after. Try and minimise it though. Um, where's our blue tack? Aha. Now, actually, I probably prefer. Here's a plan. I've got to have a cunning plan. Why don't I? Ah. Aha. That'll work. I'll pop it on too. Yeah, how stable is that going to be? Very excellent. Ain't. Uh, need another one. Oops. It's fine. Yeah. Das ist gut. Hmm. Bene. All righty. <laughs> Don't mind me practicing my... The languages I've been learning on uh, online. All right, now. Next, whilst I'm in prep mode, something I need to do here. Let's give that a bit of a file. I'll move that chunk largely like this, in fact, do it. Maybe, there we go, and, but still file it down. These are exhaust manifolds. Well, that's a bit chunky for a punky, I tells you. There we go. There we go. All righty. Now, 
Next. I was going to go for a wee bit of wood, wouldn't I? Now, in fact, here's a plan. <coughs> As I'm going to be putting, uh, in the same way that I'm going to be putting this on top of that to create the grain, when it comes to the exhaust manifolds, I'm going to put some of that in a dry wash on top of that. So, what I'm suggesting here is that I'll take those two colours right now, set up those base colours as we migrate through. Oops, Daisy almost knocked over the water. That would have been inconvenient at best. Actually, I'm being a rather understated venom. Oh, that's just an oil. Stop that. Stop your knee spent advancing behavior. Cheesy grin from the big man. If you can name the movie and scene. Now, let's solve it on the sprue. I don't need to do the, anything on the back of this because obviously that's not going to be visible. What I might want to do, don't know if it, just for trim that. Where's my file gone? Here. Give that a quick file. Get another one of those small ones. Ping. Because everything I want to do on it's going to be on the front. Actually, hang on. That's a big one. But... And that being so, I can just go for that sort of an angle. On one of these, it's a very easy thing just to hold. And... Now, if you're wondering where I got what this is and where I got them from, before her death, my mum spent extended periods of time in various rehab facilities and the like. These are medicine containers from such places. My mum used to keep them, and, and if I didn't see her for a few days, there'd be a pile of them, um, knowing that they were well suited to my purposes as a uh, container or receptacle for paints and the like. She had done lots of miniatures in her time, near the drill. Now, oh dear God, just had a coffee, um, big chug of coffee. That's the shit. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Now, well, I'm really surprised at how long this has taken so far. Next, let's get these done, as I said. Now, do I need to put these on anything? There's another one. Oh, that's the one there. Yep, that's it. Uh, no. No, 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 son. Uh, let's go with this one. Shake, shake, shake. Shake, shake, shake. <laughs> now, now, let's see. Uh, I reckon it's almost going to be ready. Let's see how it comes out, shall we? Yeah, that's good. Nice and thick. Now we'll go with... Don't want to be... There's a bit of space to, to work, a bit of area. But I don't want to... Here we go. This one's a good one for the occasion. 
because yeah, I'll be able to get a degree of uh, crispness to the line I'm taking with this brush while still being able to cover an area. Now we'll cut in first where we can, like here. Come down this, yeah, you can see what I'm, I'll be able to see what I'm doing a lot better. As far as, as the line goes. Now, next, a bit clumsy, that's okay. There we go. Almost there. Oh. <sighs> no. uh, somebody sent me. Ah, oh, no, I know who that would have been or will be. Somebody having sent me a text. I'm very confident I know who that is. Just a notification, well, just a reminder effectively. From, I would suggest, my massage therapist. Seeking confirmation of my appointment. Which is fair enough. Dear, oh dear, my uh, back's protesting somewhat. Deedly, deedly. Now, because we've got all of the, those um, lines sort of defined now as to where the edges are, we can just slap it on a bit there. 
almost got to be clumsy there. You still want to keep a bit of order about what you're doing as you get close to. There we go. Now, I don't need to be 100% exact with this um, at this point. So remember, I am going to go over with uh, that lighter colour. I do want to make sure I go in straight lines. And if I leave some a grainy sort of look, that's kind of handy because it's meant to be bloody wood. Right, there's our starting point on that one. Now along the way I've got to correct a little bit of interior green and around the edge of the door I'm actually going to put uh, or bring it out with another colour. I've yet to decide whether to go black or something like that. I'll probably go black. Because of course that's generally what the edge of a door looks like. Now, we're going to do the same thing with this one. This one's going to be a little more tricksy because we're going to go inside and only inside. We're going to want to go for a very crisp brush on that one. Now, by the time I've gotten this done and that, and we'll see what the time is anyway before we make any executive decisions as to our next plan. You may be able to get a few more colours done. Because, um, yeah, I do, as always, have things to do. But, and, uh, yeah. Also, there is the reality that because of the hunchback of Notre Dame position I get into when I do this, my back isn't real chipper and chirpy about the idea after a while. Um, you'd never have thought that uh, scale modelling would require a degree of uh, physical capacity. But there you have it. Um, now... Bring it down here some more, oh, dear. All right. Oh, dear. Yep. Yeah. I'm uh, not going to be going for too much longer. The uh, back has decided to make its opinion felt on the matter. All right. Now we can slap uh, that on in a free and easy display. I think I'll just hit a fan door. reason I make mention of that is I am expecting a few things. Now, are there any kits I'm expecting? No. Uh, I am expecting a few other things. Nope. There we go. 
All right, this is going to come up quite well, I think. All right. As I said, it doesn't have to be perfect because I'm going over the top with another color anyway. But boom, there we go. Now I'm going to clean this brush. Oh, stretch the back. Ding a ding a ding. All right. Next, we shall. Uh, that was a nice crisp brush I wanted. Something like that will do us. Because what I'm doing this time is the inside of this door frame. So it would be best coming from this angle. There we go. Yeah, you can just see it. It's a small detail that probably won't be seen. But, hang on, you know what, give me a moment, this is going to be much easier for, oh dear God, yeah, my back's definitely starting to protest. In a scenario that I refer to as the old grey bearing, what it used to be. Now, that's much easier to control. Right, now we'll go up here. It's one of those effects. I'll zoom in in a minute once I've got the other edge done. You can see it, but it's a very... You need to be looking from certain angles or... At a, hmm, I've probably just done something completely unnecessary here. Never mind. I do a lot of that sort of behaviour. As indeed do all scale models, and I guess there comes a point... We can argue whether the entire process is what one would deem as necessary in the hunter-gatherer context. Um, from a mental health perspective, absolutely it is. Um, very good for your mental health. Now, as an aside, I have no intention of doing the grain effect on these. Um because that's just a bridge too far. Even I'm not that pedantic. <laughs> but there they are. The little, or there it is, the, the door frame done in wood. And 
you can see how you can tell, but as to how much of that's going to come through in the final analysis, yeah, well. But hey, I like it. I like it. Now pop that over there. Clean the brush. Goggles off. Clean brush. Now, next. Uh, I can get a bit more done, so I shall. Now, one thing that's very easy to do. Is the uh, oily steel on the exhaust manifolds? Uh, it's natural steel, I want oily steel. A cello l'inglasado. Oily steel. <laughs> Pardon me. I must say, it's actually been uh, one of the things I like about Vallejo. And it sounds like a strange thing to like, I'll grant you. Is uh, the fact that you can learn the... Uh, um spanish names for colors because they're on there and you can actually draw in a few dots like englasado um in uh which it is in some languages n is in glass greece in greece a jello must therefore be steel boom there you have it peeps things to consider do you care probably not can I blame you for not caring? Not in the slightest. Do I care that you do not care? Not even more. You're getting the drill here, peeps, I'm sure. Now then. <laughs> Today on Robster is Extremely Silly. Um, now then. Now, now, now. Where is... So we'll coat these. And what happens is that once this is dry, the because of course exhausts don't generally uh, they're just a steel thing. The oil makes them look a bit grubbier, or the oil uh, color. But the bigger trick is the. Uh, tin when it goes on will give it a burnt look it comes up really well i got put onto this one by a chappie at my local hobby shop or one of my local hobby shops one of my go-to's and uh, there we go uh, I must say a winning move in my eyes. Now, what do you see? Moment. So, yeah, now, after these, we'll uh, let's see what's the time. Yeah, we've got a bit of time yet. I reckon we can certainly look at the leather. And you know what? You know what? I reckon. I reckon. That I can. Uh, if I get the leather done. Is, um, there's a few bits that require leather. Um, the arms of the pilots. The. Uh, bench. The um, 
it's a part of the seats. Once they're done, I reckon we can start looking at adding the uh, effects on both the doors and these. So as at least you can see what, what I'm trying, what I was trying, what I've been trying, well, what I will have achieved with them and how it operates. And I think that would be kind of cool. So we'll see how that rolls. Because that would be good, like I said. I don't think it's going to take me too long to do the leather. Alright, now we're looking there, you reckon. I'm a firm believer in uh, checking every angle. You'd be surprised how different angles of light will reveal that something's not quite right. It's well worth checking those little boxes, kids. Alright, I'm pretty chipper with those, though. Alrighty. Clean the brush. Now, leather. Now, once these are done, or well, leather is done, and the effects added is not, we're starting to get on to, uh, well, nitty gritties. Um, they're doing well. Now, next, uh, this time we will grab this, no, not that one, that's not the one I was seeking, there is one there, is that it, no, 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 where is, come here, hang on, what's that, oh no, that's not it. Um, what the devil? Surely not. No. Uh, one of my favourite brushes seems to have been misplaced. That's not okay. That's a grumpy making situation. Hmm. Robin. This... Looks like the work of the Riddler. <laughs> Quick, to the bed. Oh, wait a minute. Wait a minute. No, that's not it either. Hmm. Hmm. Did I say hmm? Hmm. Uh, okay, then. We'll grab... Actually, this one. It's been a while since I used that one. This is a very good one, actually. Uh, it's a Tamiya. It's been a long server. Um, now, and Tamiya, I've got to say, are good. They are quality. Now, leather, I believe this is. Yes. Boom. Give it a thorough shake. Uh, I've just realised there are other places I could have done the... Hang on a moment. Hang on a moment. Goggles. With the wood. Whoops. Come here. We're going to put some of the wood on the chair. Mostly on the back. And a bit on the side. 
ねえ Then we're gonna come. Whoops! Almost dropped him. Up here, about there. Bit more paint. Let me just do a bit more. Now, and uh, hang on, just move that across. There we go. Now, All right. Now, a bit on this side. Feeling from I should prefer to do that. First. All right. Almost there. the backboard for the uh, leather front is the theory is the theory there we go right oh and a bit across there probably oh no 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 we're good now, oh, wait. There we go. Um, I'll be doing the arm rest of the different color all together, probably black. All other movie. Zoom out for a moment. Where's my other one? Uh, what's the time? Yeah, we're doing all right. We're doing all right. Dee -dee 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 -dee. Now, here we go. Yep. Now.
Now, next, we go here. Right, almost there. And up we come. Ah, there we go. Now let's just make sure it is. This is it. Yep. There we go. Just confirming that they were the same. Ding and zip. Now. Clean brush. Diddly. Now. That's probably going into interfere a bit with my putting the leather on now that I look at it, but that's okay. That's fine. Um, being an acrylic, it doesn't matter. It'll dry really soon. Now, actually, won't necessarily interfere. We'll see. Now, here's our leather brown again. Let's give that a bit of a shake. And Dealy. now again. We just go be a little careful with this one. Come to the edges. Uh, I'm not going to go into the gaps. I'm going to do them a different color. Not quite sure what colour, but a different one. There we go. I can see this little line, but there's no paint at all. 
So what I might do is, as I'm sure you can work out, attend to that. And that is just there. Now, that wasn't planned. However, I think if I can... There we go. It actually creates the look that it's hanging slightly over, and I think that's actually better. All right. Now, I don't mind if it's a bit uneven in its colouring there. We'll consider that weathering. <laughs> Uh, give me a moment. there anyway. Yeah, it's looking kind of good. All right. Next part of the bench. I just got some paint where I didn't want it. That's an easy fix, though. And in actuality, given where it is, it act straight out doesn't matter because. The, uh, that, of course, goes against the side of the fuselage. No one's going to see that. So the concern is frankly not there. Although knowing we are will tidy it up. Right. Got a good solid start on that bench. Delay. I 
be interested to see with a yep missing a bit down the inside is a consistent feature and that's fine so it means that the benches will be consistent unless it looks like that's the case which is sort of what i wanted to be honest Got to do. I'll do this one here and here. Just confirm what the edges are like. starting to get a bit of uh, while I'm here I'm going to come on to there have I done that one? I have, good now they're looking much more complete just for that So I'll get these done. I might want to start considering winding up. Um,
one last little bit. Hang on, if I could read the front there. As I said, there were a couple of such ups, but not much. That's fine. On the whole, it's looking pretty sound. Now, let us do that front edge and there and All right. That's the bench is done. Clean brush. I mean, they're not completed, but at least we're on the way with them. Now, that shade of leather, there's not that much to go on the uh, pile. It's just the arms. And the other bit of leather is, of course, on the chairs. But, yes, it's all coming together, I tells you. Now, Go for a really crisp brush on this one, and we'll need our goggles. Grab a pilot now. Bing. now. The only part we need to do on this instance in this color is going to be. Is uh, pretty much just his sleeves. Ah, I see now. Okay, I've also noticed something else, but that's okay. Yeah, we're indeed going to start with just his sleeves. Now then. All right. Now. 
There's one arm. And unsurprisingly, here's the other arm. Who would have thunk it, eh? Down they come together. Now, there we go. There we go. Now something I have just noticed is where I have made an error. And that's, oh, have I? No, I haven't, I'm good. All right, now. Where's the other one? Where's he gone? What's he doing? There's one there. Yeah, on. where? Ah, uh, hang on. Here we go. Now. Another arm done, and another arm done, and another arm done. Another arm bites the dust. Oh, dear God. Hey, I'm going to paint this too. Oh, dear. Oh, dear. Free Mercury is definitely turning in his grave. Brian May is alive and well, but he's definitely turning his grave too, despite still being alive. That's how frightful that was. Ah. 
All right. There we go. That's his arms done. Now, zoom out. Goals off whilst I clean the brush. Actually, no, I don't want to clean the brush. I want to do the chairs, don't I? Which means I put the goggles back on. Yeah. Come here. Now. Yep. Gotta say, these uh, C forty seven dudes flew in comfort, armrest, and uh, gee, me, man, nice thick seat pads. I suppose it wasn't originally an airline, it, um, or passenger aircraft, wasn't. Uh, Wasn't a military one, so maybe that's something to do with it. Half the crew's luck, though, you got to say. Oh, wow, that's looking very nice, actually. At this early point, it's got quite a bit to be done on it. Give me a moment, I'll zoom in. What I liked about what I just saw was... There's our uh, contrast. So I like how that's looking already. Oop. There we go. Now, one more. All right. Well, 
Delay. Oh, crack that back, big boy. Now we're gonna come just around here. Oops. And up here, and finally the back. I like the two tone effect there too. That's that's coming up well. Now. All right. And there we go. Another one on its way. Still a lot to do on it, but yeah. All right, goggles off. Clean brush. Then we're going to add some effects on the doors and on the exhausts, and then I'm going to wind the stream up because adding effects takes no time at all. And then hopefully you'll see why I've done what I've done. Next. Zoom out. Now we're going to start with... Doesn't really matter which one we go with first, to be honest. Now, is this my uh, Panzer Brown? No. Where did I put them? Here we go, maybe. No. Aha! Boom. Now this is for the doors. Now we're going to shake this thoroughly. All righty. Now. Then we're going to get one of these rougher brushes. Uh, this one's good for the occasion. I'm just going to get a little bit on the very tip. Thin it out a lot. Like a lot. That's probably enough. And now we just get this and just thin it out across the So it creates different colours in the door. There you go. So we've got a bit of a grain on it once we get everything defined. Yeah. Next we'll go. This one, same drill, just a little bit of the very tip. Thin it out. There we go. Yeah. 
So there is the other door. And you can, it's got a variety of colours in it, so it looks like it's a bit... Yeah, it's not a consistent colour. It's got grains and all sorts of knots. And... Yeah, that's the theory. Zoom out. Now, of course, that's going to be varnished and all the rest. And hit with uh, null oil and all sorts of other business before it's finished, and then you'll see the effect more of, more extensively. But next, we go over there, tin. And we do the same thing, sort of, basically, but on the exhaust manifolds. But with this colour... Being this one. We'll go with this brush. So we get that. Turn around. Here we go. And just. Should we start getting a bit of a. There we go. Go on the other side a bit. A bit more. There we go. Bit more, I think. There we go. And there is our exhaust manifolds. Again, once varnished and stuff, they'll look a bit more grungy again. I might just get the top there a bit more. But yeah, you get the idea. You dull them down. I'll give you a close look at the doors, perhaps, while I'm here. So you can see it's not just... Yeah, you get the idea, I think. Now, clean brush, zoom out. Uh, now, tomorrow is Friday. Friday. Yeah, I'm going to be very busy tomorrow. A stream is not going to happen. It's a pretty simple equation. It's not going to happen. Um, it's unlikely to happen on uh, Sunday, being Northern Hemisphere Saturday evening, because I might be out fishing for two days straight. That depends. Would finally, that means I will be back on Monday, Australian time, Sunday for those in the US, depending where you are in Europe. Um, all righty. Now, uh, thank you for watching. I do appreciate it. First time viewers out there, magic button, follow, like, or subscribe. It's a very simple equation. Um, if you would like to track me down on other platforms, I am Rob the Builder on Facebook and YouTube, Robster the Builder on Instagram, Twitch, and Discord, and Rob the Builder and Food Monster on Twitter. What are those three words, people? You know what they are. They're follow, like, or subscribe. If you haven't, if you haven't worked this out, I mean, really now. Hmm? Hmm? Anyway, um, all right. Well, that's pretty much all there is to uh, say for that. Again, thank you for watching. I will be back on Montag. Yeah, yeah. Um, 
which is to say Sunday for those in the US, um, possibly early Monday morning, late Sunday, depending for in Europe, those in Europe, depending on factors X, Y, and Z. Mostly that those factors being what time zone you're in. Again, I digress. All right. But at the end of the day, on Monday, I will be back at the same kit time and on the same kit channel. And hopefully I'll catch you then.